Hello our wonderful viewers, it's me Obwe Nathan Matovu here at KISA Projects. KISA Projects has been established as an industrial training center and a home for entrepreneurs where no one can be too young to own a company. We are lucky to have met and patterned with proven formulas and it is very particular about maintaining standards in our teachings. Quite a number of people have been coming and asking for our services and all those services are performing well in various entrepreneurial businesses in and outside the country. Today, the reason as to why I'm standing in front of the camera is to give you a thorough know-how on the soap making science. To begin with, soap is a sort of fat acids achieved through a chemical process known as saponification. And saponification basically involves the hydrolysis of a trigocellides. Now, when I say trigocellides, I'm talking of the nonpolar lipid molecules composed of glycerol molecules associated with the fatty fatty acid molecules. And these are the saturated fatty acid molecules, the monounsaturated fatty acid molecules, and the polyunsaturated fatty acid molecules. However, in commercial transactions, we usually follow the total fatty matter percentage of the finished bar of soap for us to determine the quality of the soap. Soaps with a higher total fatty matter percentage are claimed to be pure, Soaps, on the other hand, soaps with lower water to fatty matter percentage are what we call built stroke filled round river soap. To give you a clear example, if you manufacture soap and it has a total fatty matter percentage ranging between, let's say, 50 to 61 percent TFM percentage, your soap will be claimed to be under grade 2, or your soap will be claimed to be grade 2 soap, which is commonly termed as built stroke filled round or built stroke filled. Soap. On the other hand, if you manufacture your soap and you calculate its, tot its total fatty matter percentage, and its total fatty matter percentage is ranging between 62 and any other percentage high, then your soap will be claimed to be pure soap or what we call grade one soap. So, to everyone manufacturing soap outside there, always start to manufacture soap with higher total fatty matter percentages. For instance, percentages ranging between 62 and higher are recommended best for human use either for round trip benefits or even for toilet purposes or what we call toilet soaps as in for cleaning your skin or washing your body. Now, what is total fatty matter? Total fatty matter is one of the most important characteristics describing the qualities of a good bar of soap and it is commonly specified in commercial transactions. It is defined as the total amount of fatty matter. It is defined as the total amount of fatty matter that can be separated from a sample after splinting with a mineral acid, usually hydrochloric acid. I have said that soaps with a higher total fatty matter percentage are claimed to be good soaps and they will be of Quality. So to everyone manufacturing soap outside there, always try to manufacture soap with a higher total fatty matter percentage. However, I've told you that the process for manufacturing soap is called saponification. Now, we have two types of saponification. There's one-step saponification and the two-step saponification. Most people manufacturing soap on a small scale of production, they will always manufacture soap through the one-step saponification. And through this saponification process, Triglycerides, when they are treated with a strong base, will split from an ester bond, only to release glycerol and soap. So through the one-step saponification, our end results will be a salt that has glycerol into it. Now, those who are manufacturing soap through the one-step saponification, the people who commonly use the hot process method or the cold process method, and that those are the people who are manufacturing soap on a small scale of production. So with that one-step saponification process, there is something that you may not need to put or to apply as part of your manufacturing equipment. However, we shall see that part when you come here at Kisa Projects for training. Remember, our training fees for soap production range from as low as 150,000 to up to 50 million, depending on the package you want to take with us. Now, let me also talk about the two-step saponification. Now, the two-step saponification involves the steam hydrolysis of 
triglycerides. The steam hydrolysis of triglycerides yields glycerol and carboxylic acids. Now in this process, the alkaline will neutralize the triglycerides and the end result will be a salt of fatty acids. And that is the type of saponification usually followed by those power manufacturing shop on a factory scale of production. Remember, on a small scale of production, we shall always follow either the hot process or the cold process method. And when we advance to go into the factory scale of production, we shall follow either the kettle boiling method or the continuous method. To understand more on those process of manufacturing soap, you come here at Kisa Projects for training. Kisa Projects always open Monday, Saturday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now, let me give you the qualities of a good bar of soap. Generally, we have five qualities of a good bar of soap, and we shall get them from the five, no, we shall get them from the eight carboxylic acids. Now, these carboxylic, carboxylic acids are eight, but they will contribute to only five properties of a good bar of soap. But these eight carboxy, carboxylic acids are subgrouped in two, two, uh, two, two groups, four of them being under the saturated fatty acids and four of them being under the unsaturated fatty acids. Hopefully I talked about fatty acids. Oh, if I thought I didn't talk about fatty acids. Now fatty acids are carboxylic acids composed of long hydrocarbon chains. They are eight in number and subgrouped into two. Four of them being saturated and four of them being unsaturated. And it is these fatty acids that will contribute to the five qualities of a good bar of soap. Now, let us mention them. The saturated fatty acids. These include, we have mirizitic, we have lauric, we have stalic, and we have palmitic. And this will give us the hardiness, cleansing, and bubbly other properties of a good bar of soap. Now, hardiness, this, this defines the firmness of a soap bar. A good bar of soap should be strong. However, it should also be mild and durable. Quite a number two was bubbly rather. Now, bubbly rather reflects the kinesing abilities of the soap rather, the Baganda people. Bubbly rather, a measuring amani go to kuza, which of each of us The higher the bubbly rather percentage of your soap, the more cleansing your soap rather will be advising vata. Then lastly, cleansing, which comes from the word cleaning. This is the ability of the soap to remove oily materials or good substances from the areas of application. So those feed properties of a good bar of soap, shall get them from the saturated fatty acids. And saturated fatty acids are composed of these carboxylic acids. I've talked of lauric, stalic, mirizitic, and palmitic. You want to understand more on that? Come here at Kisa Projects for training. Our trainings are done both theoretically and practically. And even the training session, we manufacture some good quantities of soap for those people who enroll into our CAPAD training. And we give you those samples and carry them back home. However, that's not what about me here. I'm not here to market Kisa Projects. I'm here to give you some basics on the soap science. Let me go back to the unsaturated fatty acids. Now, the unsaturated fatty acids are composed of these carboxylic acids. We have linoleic, linolenic, oleic, and resinoleic. Linoleic, linolenic. Those are two words, linoleic and linolenic. Then you also have oleic and resinoleic. These will only give us two properties, and that is conditioning and creamy lather. Conditioning refers to the amount of moisture left on the skin after rinsing. A good product should leave your skin oily after rinsing. If the product is leaving your skin dry after rinsing, it means that that product is washing off the moisture content meant to protect your skin. So it's leaving you with skin with low water contents or with no moisture levels. Like it's like you are remaining with a dead skin. Such products are not recommended for human Use. So for us to manufacture quality soap, we should give it good moisturizing levels. Hence, we should capture the conditioning properties as one of our properties in our soap. However, we shall get that properties from the unsaturated fatty acids. And lastly, we have creamy lather, which stabilizes the nature of the soap lather. Those are the five qualities of a good bar of soap that we get from the eight fatty acids or from the eight carboxylic acids. Hardiness, cleansing, and bubbly rather than conditioning and 
kurime ladha the following are the raw materials we shall need in soap production and i'm going to give you their quantities so that we help you to manufacture quality soap however muswade i will not share that information that information will only be shared to you when you come here at kisa projects for trainings we only conduct commercial training so only come here if you are ready to start soap production for commercial benefits and in our trainings we shall show you how to manufacture both grade one soap and grade two soap so it will be upon you based on your market targets to know which type of soap is best for your potential clients when they, remember whenever you are handling productions whatever products we are manufacturing we are not manufacturing them for our own benefits we are manufacturing them for our clients so we should always focus on clients needs with that all here with me i have a soap slab that is holding up to 20 kilograms of soap that we manufactured with one of our clients who purchased a kepad soap production kit so we are going to handle the finishing process with it while with you on the camera from unmolding to cutting after cutting to stamping ramping to the cavera and eventually we shall seal it enough of the talk let us go into the real practical work i remain your bonthan matov here at kisa projects you need to talk to us our contact is plus two five six seven five two four nine two one nine four or plus two five six seven seven nine five nine three four five two or plus two five six seven zero two seven five six one zero seven or plus two five six seven zero six fifty 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 eight eight two keep watching